tell us what exactly the AFD is calling for then? Well, they are calling for the end of the European Union under uh, its uh, current form. Now, hardliners and uh, moderates diverge as to uh, how exactly they can uh, achieve uh, that. They want, you say that they want uh, the dissolution of the, Euro the European uh, Parliament while they're say, seeking uh, to gain uh, seats in the said uh, Parliament. But that would mean a European Union without uh, legislative powers. They also want Germany to be out uh, of uh, the Euros. Uh, to not be using the, EU, the, the euro uh, currency. They also don't want a foreign, common foreign policy and a common, common uh, defence uh, policy. And if all those reforms that they're advocating for uh, fail, then uh, they do uh, threaten with a so-called exit, so the exit of Germany from uh, the European Union. Now, uh, that is the uh, stance of the hardliners, uh, but that wasn't uh, defended by uh, the leaders of the party, Alexander Garland and Jörg uh, Merton, who are uh, actually not known for being moderate, but they did advocate for moderation in that uh, specific uh, case at a time where the AFD uh, is uh, quite divided. Uh, we saw uh, last week uh, André Pockenburg, uh, uh, Pockenburg who, uh, who announced uh, he was resigning from the AFD and created his own uh, radical identitarian uh, party. Now, uh, above, uh, beyond the European elections, uh, we see uh, that the AFD uh, still uh, has support uh, in the general public, but there will also be three key elections that will uh, prove just how much more, um, how much momentum uh, the AFD uh, still has, and also whether the party can uh, still uh, gain uh, traction or not amidst a series uh, of scandals uh, that has been uh, happening, that have been happening during the uh, last months.